so in my previous video i have already discussed that when you are training any machine learning model for image classification then the model cannot extract the features directly from the images right so what we need to do first we need to extract features using some algorithm for that we can use local binary pattern based feature extraction for corner detection there are several algorithm right i have discussed eigen value based corner detection right then uh, harris corner detection then we have uh, seen histogram of oriented gradient that is hog based feature extraction and then we have trained some knn or svm okay like this machine learning model using those features and we have tried to do image classification like we have seen handwritten digit classification then we have uh, solved the project on facial expression recognition right all these things we have studied now in my this video i am going to discuss about one particular pre trained model okay which uses one particular feature extraction technique which i have already dis discussed in detail in my previous video while discussing handwritten digit recognition and that particular feature extraction technique is hog that is histogram of oriented gradient feature extraction okay so first let me give you a quick recap clc clear all close all warning off now suppose i want to read one particular in a image x equal to i am read okay uh, here i'll be writing the image and here i'll be showing that i am so x right and then suppose you want to extract hog features from one image okay so suppose you forgot the syntax very simple in matlab you just need to use help command properly help hog is the feature descriptor as you know we want to extract this so extract hog and this is features right so features so no need to remember exact term or whether capital small combination just you need to write like this help extract hog features and it will be giving you detailed description along with code from which you can take your required part that is function and using your project like here you can see it is loaded extract hog feature extract the hog features from image okay so see this is how uh, it is actually written hog f in capital rest all in small but i no need to remember when i am using help command okay matlab will understand what you want right then here if you go below here example code also will be getting so two output parameters will be extracting one is feature another one is for visualization right so we'll be pasting here the same thing yes now suppose we want to plot that so plot the visualization here will be plotting okay on our original image only we want to plot then we can give hold on so that it will be displayed on the same image okay suppose i am taking this particular image football dot jpg okay so if i just run this particular piece of code let us check what output we are getting so according to this particular code the expectation expected output is on original image the extracted hog features should be displaced okay and as you know from my previous video discussion that it requires cell size as parameter either 2 cross 2 or 8 cross 8 or 16 cross 16 what cell size we want for hog feature calculation by default it is 8 cross 8 so I, as i am not specifying so it will be taking default uh, cell size which is 8 cross 8 okay so it will be taking some time here i guess i have done something wrong okay undefined variable i so here actually this is not i this is x variable so we will be converting this to x now we'll be running this whole code code will be posted in the description box or in the comment section no need to worry about the code okay So it will be taking some time to compute the values depending on your computer hardware specification if you have high configuration that time 
it will be calculated faster right so see here i have taken one image where some people are playing football and here one people is standing and you can see that on this particular image hog features are drawn i can zoom one particular part so that you can understand the difference very properly so here zoom button is there just you need to click on that and here i'll be just making this particular part bigger okay just i'll zoom in this particular part so here you can see that these are nothing but my extracted hog features in different direction orientation is plotted okay right so now these extracted hog features we have visualized now this particular parameter hog1 is basically doing what this hog1 is basically storing all the extracted features which we can use for training any machine learning model that may be svm knn or whatever according to your own requirement like how i have shown already in my previous video while discussing handwritten digit recognition and now in my this video i am going to show you one particular pre trained model using hog so see here digit recognition using matlab support vector machine plus hog i have already discussed and this particular same machine learning uh, project is also available as kaggle competition where we have implemented the same on mn ist dataset okay that is extracting the features using hog technique and then training our linear svm okay so we have got 0.97125 as accuracy rank was uh 1901 accuracy was pretty good now see the same thing here is present in matlab as one pre trained model for detecting pupil okay so vision dot pupil detector what it will do it will detect upright pupil using hog features here you can uh, understand the description also the pupil detector object detects pupil in an input image using histogram of oriented gradient features and a trained svm classifier that is uh, already matlab developers has created uh, extracted the uh, histogram of oriented gradient features from several images okay uh, with many possible combinations and then trained one svm classifier using those extracted features okay the object detects an occulted pupil in an upright position that means what the position should be upright that is straight okay not kind of bent shape and another thing is an occulted that means the face should be somewhat towards the camera then it, it can be detected in a better way okay like here you can see the explanation also they have given as example so that we can easily code using that sorry for this here if i go below you can see see here this kind of face no face should be like this if you consider this particular person this face is not that much towards camera camera is unable to capture that much face so it is not detected but rest all it is detecting trying to detect right so we will be creating one kind of this project okay right so now for the time being as the particular vision dot pupil detector will automatically extract the hog features and do svm classification so we no need to extract this but write this particular piece of code so what we will do we will basically create one object okay pupil detector equal to vision dot pupil detector we have created the object and then we can use this for detecting image uh, person present in an image or not okay so b boxes boundary box this is b boxes for boundary box and score that is confidence or probability about detection okay we want to detect using i will be copying from here pupil detector of my image x i'll be passing okay then if this particular pre trained model is unable to detect pupil so b boxes will be empty 
So what we'll do if son of son of b box is not equal to zero. Why? Because if pupil is present, that time only b boxes will be having boundary box will be having some value. Else it will be empty. So we are checking like this. You can use is empty also. And other possibilities. This is equal to zero. Okay. So here not equal to zero. That means pupil detected and else part will handle pupil not detected case. Okay. So I am show x will be simply showing the image and. Uh, Title no pupil detected and if detected that time what we will do we will just box that particular detected part and we will be displaying the score and for that we can use insert object annotation which I have already discussed the detail link I will be providing in the description box if you want you can go and check there okay insert object annotation okay first pass the image which is x then rectangular shape we want to introduce okay see here it is giving hint also insert object annotation i then shape so i am specifying rectangular shape okay rectangle then position we need to specify position is stored in b boxes so we'll be copying and pasting here and last part is what we want to give as title in that highlighted area that is code we want to give okay that is it will be displaying the confidence level also right and then we will be displaying this i am show i and title we want to give as people has been detected okay so here we will be giving title detected people and detection scores because we have we want to display the score also now if i just run control a and evaluate selection it will be taking some time because you can understand here feature extraction then uh, classification is happening this is kind of testing phase only we are doing feature extraction and training the model already efficient or people detector is handling we are only doing the testing phase okay so it will be taking some time let us wait for that so it is not like that all the uh, people will be detected okay like here you can see this particular person this particular person and this particular person is detected but this is not because this is not upright position the person is bent okay and see here it is clearly written in the function also unocculted face that is the face uh, should be kind of towards the camera okay like I can show you by taking another image. So here we have seen it is working pretty nicely, but this particular person has his uh, while playing, he is taking bent shape, not straight. So it is unable to detect. Okay, right. Then we can take some other image of some pedestrian, maybe. Okay, and let's check. So this COVID time is going on. So you can just uh, just check whether they are the pedestrians are maintaining the safe distance or not like here detected people and detection score okay so see there are four people and perfectly all four of them are detected right then i can show you one particular one more example so here i am taking another pedestrian image which i have taken from internet so see this kind of situation also it is able to detect it is not like that complete face should be towards the camera but the persons are straight okay and if they are straight and the situation is good that is unocculted situation the person's face is at least somewhat towards the camera that time it is able to detect and see it is showing this score also here for this particular uh, boy uh, 0 0.0963 is the score for this particular uh, woman uh, 0 0.044 Zero zero one is the score like that. Okay, so I hope you have understood how you can visualize the uh, hog extracted features and how we can use the pre-trained model that is first hog feature extraction and then uh, the training was done using SVM model. Okay, which is pre-trained. Just you need to create the object and use that. The code I will be posting in the description box or in the comment section. If you want, you can go and check there. Thank you.